everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Royals. So I wasn't sure if this one was going to run congruent with uh, episode 4 of the Duelist, I believe. So, but it is, um, just because we didn't get any solo duel missions uh, this month. But we do have a duo duel, which I'm hoping we can pull off, uh, but there's no guarantee. So, that being said, let's have a look at the mech bay because we had to do some rebuilding after the last couple of episodes. So the thorn went down because of the sentinel and the locust went down in the duo duel. Um, both mechs are back up and running. I think they're probably better than what they were, but we, but that regardless, we lost two XL engines and stuff and two cores, which is huge. So we're going to have to look for, for those specifically if we can get them in the next mission. I already know what we're going to do, but um, we'll have a look in a second. So the Wavern stayed the same, the Sentinel stayed the same, the Thorn of course had to be rebuilt, so let's have a look at that guy. Now um, is it perfect? No. Is it going to run well? I think so. So I'm not that worried about it. The heat sinking, I don't have to worry about it at all, right? Um, plenty of heat sinking. We need to get some bigger lasers. Um, the ER medium laser, I believe this is from um, the Duelist, so I can't touch that one, unfortunately. Now, the way I laid this out is I decided to really wrap up, ramp up the core. So we've got a 180 core in here. And actually, I've got an extra heat sink that we don't need in here. I'm just realizing that. So we can pull the extra heat sink. Gives us an extra ton. Now, we have a support hard point, but nothing that can go in there. Unfortunately. I tried to get, I tried to do the, the two large chem laser build on this, but in order to do that, that's like six tons right there. And then we have a do double tonnage for the uh, ammo. So that's eight tons and there's just no way I was going to get it on here unless this thing was completely dog slow. So, and at, at 25 tons, it's just going to be a sitting dock if it's too slow, I think. So I uh, managed to max out, you know, we'll leave this in here for today. I'll figure it out. I don't really have much to put in there. I mean, I guess we could... You know what? Let's not. Let's take this out. Because don't we have... we got a medium pulse laser. Regular medium pulse we'll throw in. It's a little bit better for accuracy, I think. Two days to put a medium pulse laser in? I can't afford that. Um, we'll have to run without it then. Leave it the way it was. Anyway, three medium lasers. Guardian ECM. So, um... Yeah, that's how this guy's going to run. Our speed is, like I said, pretty pretty good, 914. That should keep us pretty much hidden from the enemy, uh, or very, very hard to hit anyway. Uh, but we can dart in and dart out, do a little bit of damage, dart out. And you can, this one is going to be running alongside the Locust. We're going to try and work them in tandem together, so the Guardian ECM can cover them both. And then this guy, we've got, as I mentioned, we were going to do some Pirate Flamers. I managed to put a 170 core in this guy, which gets this guy almost to the identical speed. It's 813, so it's pretty close to 914, but not quite. So we got the two medium uh, Pirate uh, Flamers in here that we got off the last mission. Um, if you haven't seen the Duelist mission, go check that out. That's where it came from, uh, because this, this mech was involved in it. Uh, we have this medium pulse laser still in this arm, but we upgraded it to the clan medium pulse that we just bought in the store. Uh, ER small laser there, ER small laser in the center torso. So I think overall the firepower has probably gone up on this guy, but the accuracy I think has probably gone down a slight bit, simply because these guys are minus one to accuracy and we're missing the pulse lasers on this side. But I'm hoping that these flamers hit half decent regular, like, you know, in a sort of semi-regular manner. Um, to be able to get that uh, extra 36 heat onto somebody. Uh, we definitely now have the ability to overheat somebody like crazy to be able to uh, get them to bail out and get some good salvage. So that's my intention with this. This mech's running a Beagle Probe just to help out um, countering the uh, ECM and stealth and giving a better sensor detection in order for these things to hit a little better. That's how we're running this guy. And then, oh yeah, I had to put the Clan XL in here because I didn't have anything else to, to, uh, to, to um, drop in this thing. And that's it. And that's what we're running. Um, the Hatchiman, you guys will see that in the next episode. I don't think I did too much. Oh, I did actually do some changes to that, but you guys can see that in the next episode of The Duelist. Okay, Command Center. Know which mission we're taking today. And yes, unfortunately, it's going to be another escort mission because this one is going to be against Clan Jade Falcon. Uh, I know there's a planet flare up here, and we could probably take a mission. I don't know what... See, the problem is, is I don't know... Maybe I, we can find out if we go to... Um, navigation 
if we can find out who's got more um we're right here forces jade fall can have more forces so if we i'm trying to build up my reputation with wolf right now because i'm really hoping that we can get um some better gear so if i take jade falcon it's going to drop my like wolf right now is 10 out of 10 and i need to get to 19 for the next level whereas jade falcon's at minus five so if i take falcon we're never going to get to that level right now it's just going to take a little longer i mean i don't know we're going to have to pass a bunch of missions too because it comes every three days. We just don't have the ability to get back in every three days. And I have no idea what to expect skull-wise. So I'm just going to leave it alone for now. As much as I want to take that, um, it could just spell disaster. So uh, going to the barracks, or sorry, the command center. We're going to take... Oh, we got some points to spend. Actually, Man. let's go back to the barracks then. I keep forgetting that my pilots have got some points. This will we'll all ask in a poll. Um, I'm sure you probably would have answered by the time you see this episode anyway, so Receiving you. let's have a look here. So outcast, we want to go tactics because we want to get the initiative. Training complete. Um, smirk, you. don't quite have enough yet, but we're working, getting towards gunnery. Sourbug, you're not going to be in hey. this particular mission, but we are going to run with guts, or we hang out for gunnery for tugboat. Let's hang on for gunnery, I think. Um, and Raggio is by. actually going to be in this particular mission. I am going to run her in the main Mac because our main pilot right now uh, Dragon 66 is out so she is going to drop in, in the main Mac and I am going to go all firepower with her so we're going to go with focus fire um, we don't really have to worry about the recoil for this mech that she's in but that's what we're going to go with and we'll confirm that mech warrior training complete. and then Wrangler what do we got yes, down here Honda. Yeah, we'll go this route for sure to get the extra initiative. Training confirmed. We've been suffering kind of with initiative. It's nice to have this one, this here, um, to increase all our abilities. It's really nice, but um, yeah, it's, it's you know nice to have better, like individual initiatives. So anyway, going to the command center. Let's go take this mission here. Might be a long one again, but we'll see. Hopefully, it's, hopefully it's relatively quick. Uh, it's against Clan Jade Falcon, so I'm hoping some, for some half decent salvage. And hopefully we don't get pasted and shoot ourselves in the back. Let's go full salvage, because of course, best way to go. And then we will um, load uh, Royals. Apply. Now Dragon's wounded, so we take him out. And we put a Varagio in. And she can run the command mech for this particular one. Uh, technically, probably Tugboat would be in charge, but... Let's go. Yeah, I know the thorns underweight is fine. All right, let's hope for no lances at the start. Ah, then we want to get two enemies. Oh, this will be interesting. And we are good to go. Excellent. Now we have to take these guys around this way to the landing site here. Been a while since I played on this map. Should be interesting. At least I think the first lance shows up over here somewhere. So we're gonna come back here, get a bit of evasion going. The start, rather than just dropping in here. Excellent. All right, let's do this now. I pulled the mask. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. I pulled the mask off of the Wavern, um, and I added more heat sinks. So, um, because we weren't getting all that much speed, but we were suffering from uh, heat problems. So, you know, while it's not... I, I mean, I wasn't using the mask all that much anyway, and I was running into issues with it, so I just took it off. Um, so hopefully, uh, this will be a little better. Because you know me, and like turning stuff on and off, I always forget to do it. Let's get you in front of everybody. Location confirmed. And let's get you, you're super fast, so let's get you, we're going to get the uh, vehicle to activate. I'm going to put you up over here. Moving out. And we'll get the locust up there with you. Advancing. Get some good speed, and we'll put the hunter in here. And see what we get. Bing. So we should be facing five mechs here. Hopefully. Just 
destroy all their reinforcements. So that must be this next lance. So. Ooh. Now what do I do? I can't see anybody. I'm going to run it up here. See what we can find. The beagle probe going. See if we can see anybody. Ah, we got them now. So it looks like thorns. Thorn N. Solitaire. Another thorn. Oscout. Another thorn. Sure. ER Lard, that could be bad. We're going to have to kill that guy. I mean, we got to kill everybody. LRM5, so that's nothing. This one's probably the LRM5 medium laser. Solitaire. Ooh, large heavy laser and some medium heavy lasers. Those would be super juicy to get. And an Oscar with just a regular Oscar. Okay. Let's get... You stopped. And let's get you... Commander. Up here with the Guardian ECM. On my way. Double time. Now it should be on... It's on passive mode, which provides the carrier only. Active jams enemy by three and reduces jamming by on allies. So it's not going to really affect us until we get close to them, which I'll probably switch on. Sorry. Which, you know, in my mind, I'll probably switch on, but most likely I won't. Because I'm bad that way. Oh, missed it. All right. Aye, aye. These guys are going real slow. Do we want to get? I think I want to wait. I think I want to wait for them to go. See what we can get out of it. I know we're sacrificing our initiative next turn, but it shouldn't be too, too much for one, one round of reserve. I would prefer getting a better shot right off the bat, inflicting a bit of damage before we get close to them. All right, who's up? Okay, you can wait. I don't care what turn you guys go on. It's often better for your vehicles to go after you. That way you can kind of move into position and then have them follow you. Going after the hunter, eh? Alright. Reporting. Minimal damage. So that's this guy gone. Alright, let's see if we can get in. Ready to get it on. Rather have you go before everybody. Sixteen, huh? Uh, let's get into here. We'll take a look around, see what we can get. But I, I think sixteen is probably gonna be it. This is... Oh, it's 29. That's not bad. 10. Backshot guy's 14. That would that would be a kill shot if we land it, but this one is actually pretty good too, so... Nothing. I'd like to get a... So in the store, I think there's an LBX-10. Clan LBX-10, but it was like 700,000, I think it was. That would... I would definitely drop the Goss Rifle for that. Early game. Like later game when you got better pilots and good targeting and stuff, the Gauss Rifle I think would wait, went out over top of the LBX. Uh, but early game, having that shotgun cluster around, um, at least you're hitting with something, you know? Oof. It's not always guaranteed. I'm taking a pounding, Commander. Yeah, we all are. That guy's gotta die though. He's, at least he moved forward enough that we can just give him a good pacing next turn. Everyone will just be on him and try and bring him down. He really is the threat. Standing by. Okay, you got hit with the uh, medium one, I think, so... Um, let's push forward. All in ass. We should be a little cooler here, I think, if we unload everything on this guy. Now, there's half tons of Inferno ammo in the store. I think I'm going to buy those. Yeah, it's a little better... Let's not go all out, though.
Let's stay nice and cool so we can close with this guy next turn. This guy's like super hot. Okay, we're gonna bring the locust down with the flamers. I mean, we got the one thorn here with the large laser. That's a threat. But I think we can probably um, burn that guy out pretty quick. He's the guy. Which guy? This guy the large laser? No, it's this guy. Why didn't he fire? But she's Waiting looking to water. shoot at one of the vehicles and just couldn't get a line of sight on him, so I don't think we can go this far. Yeah, let's just see. Nope. It's going to be like to here, probably. Yeah. Get any further? A little bit. Uh, let's get to there. Got it. Freaking mash trucks. Looks like we got another. Is this an Oracle? Nope, it's just another mash truck. What can I do for you? Couldn't get lucky and get another Oracle. That thing was that thing was great. Um, I don't think we can get to here, can we? No. Not quite, but we can use the machine guns here, so. Time. We are going to do that. Gonna wind them into five. I don't want them to jam too early. Just fire on this guy. Firing everything I've got. Waiting for orders. Alright, same idea. Get to here. Uh-huh. So this guy... I mean, he doesn't have a lot of armor, though. To be fair. Got Not really a lot. Commander. Alright, you. Um, you got a flamer, too. Is this flamer range? It most certainly is. They're going to want to shoot at you too, so let's get up here, get beside the sentinel, not in front of them. Or you might end up with an early, early retirement from the battle. Um, let's wind these up a bit too. Okay, flamer missed looks like. Commander. And you've got nothing. So just stay behind these guys. All right, here we go. Orders. Uh, you're the large laser boy, right? You are, and the large lasers are on the far side. I mean, charge sixty-three percent. So. Charge damages both the attacker and target. Damage is randomized across all locations in 25 point clusters. Attacker takes 10 damage and 120 instability. That's a lot of instability. But how many? I guess it's based on how far I move. And that's a really long way to go. 63% though. That's 120 damage. No wonder I get pasted when I get hit by these guys. It's just, they're just friggin' bullets. If we're gonna do it, uh, it doesn't matter. It's still the same percentage, if you, even if you attack from behind. You know... Mm. Much as I love the idea of trying that, yes, Commander. You'd be standing right next to an ER large that could just kill you in one shot. So, am I chicken shit? Yeah, a little bit. Let's just get in on them, though. Let's just get in on them. Get some speed. Put the guardian on this guy. It'll help a little bit defense. Shoot this guy in the back. Or don't shoot him in the back. That works too. Really doesn't work at all, but... Negative damage. Negative damage. That guy goes now anyway. Or this guy. One of the two. Hopefully... I mean, he hasn't been hit yet, so he might go after the vehicle. Shooting the hunter. Interesting. So I guess that's what he was shooting for before, but just couldn't get there. 
here. Now, let's get down here. Um... I don't know which arm's got what, and I don't want to destroy this guy. I want to get salvaged. Let's try and barbecue him. So. One hit, okay. 29 heat. Oh yeah, that's right, we get a 25% bonus because he's overheating, but I don't know how that equates to 29, though. Alright, what are you up to? Of course. Well, he sacrificed himself. I mean, he did, I mean, to be fair, he's got, what, a medium ra laser and an LRM-5? Good to go. Uh, you guys can just hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Yes, Commander. Um, let's get up here. Oh, fuck, I want to shoot this guy, but, like... <laughs> I don't, I don't trust it, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, I, I'm just terrified now of, like taking a shot and like destroying my guy in the process that's a little better though so let's do that Moving one to position. I'm actually thinking about the, the build for this guy I mean we might be able to get like because we got two lasers on this we could put both of the um, the uh, large chem lasers in here plus the ammo and switch the gauss rifle out to the ultra to the ultra 2 you know and we'd have at least, like, a relatively, you know, half decent heavy hitting. Ooh! Cordum! There's a bit of salvage. There's a bit of salvage. See, I talk about getting rid of the Gauss rifle and it just cores a mech. It's not those single ones that, that, that matter, though. It's, it's the... How many times did I miss before that? And that doesn't make it up. That does not make up for killing your own guy in the last battle. Not by a long Bye. shot. Uh, let's hide. Let's not hide. I was gonna say let's hide behind the um, double time. Let's go. The locust, but I'm like, nah, I better not. All right. We know what to do. Locked on. Well, you need to hit first, though. I'll be interested to see if that guy shoots this turn. Okay, he's going. And then the Wavern goes. No, he's not going. Who's going then? This guy's already gone. Or has he? Oh, the, oh, the Oscout. Wait, the Oscout already moved, didn't it? Or was that last turn? Last turn, probably. Yeah, man, imagine getting a... a, a uh, a uh, royal start and getting like an Oscar with a tag a, a tag in the center torso and that's it. Like, honestly, what do you do with that? I guess you turn it into a bullet. That's what you do. Commander? Turn it into a friggin' bullet. This guy's fucking dead. On the move. Well, thanks for showing up to the battle, buddy. You're just slowing me down for a turn, but that's all you're doing. And I don't mind the heat. We'll draw we'll hang on to the LRMs though. I'm hoping this is enough. Target lock on enemy rear. There, you made me wait for it, but enemy good enough. Down. Yeah, so that's a Royal Mech too, because he's it's got the regular XL engine in it. Makes them easy to kill. If they're clan XLs, it's a little difficult. Because they can lose a side and still be fighting. And this guy's meleeing, because of course he is. Wow, he's got some pretty good speed for a uh, mech that's like completely overheating. That's a pretty good distance traveled for a guy that's got like, who couldn't even shed the heat in one turn. Well, I was gonna die anyway, so. Good to go. Difference to make. Okay, let's get over here. Coordinates received. We'll use our one functioning machine gun, I'm sure, to shoot this guy a little bit, but I'm going to shoot at the Oscout. Yeah, we did hit our guy. Systems holding. It's so... anyway. Commander? I totally agree with the system. Um, friendly fire system. Got it. 
and the headshots and, and the uh, I, I'm not a hundred percent on board with the uh, the pilot damage, but I'm okay with it. But I think just the frequency is a little too a little too big for me. I hear you. Probably tone it down so that it's just those rare chances where it actually happens. Waiting Come on. on you, Commander. There we go. Don't need to tell me twice. I was really hoping for a little more out of this lance. Like I was really hoping for like non-royal max like. Good I don't know. I don't know what I was hoping for in this match. Like kit foxes or something, you know what I mean? But, I mean, if we had gotten those, it, we probably would have just taken a pasting. Hey. Alright, let's uh, get back on this guy. Oh boy, here we go. This is what we're here for. Lucky We're here for it. salvage. Let's try and get it. Okay, 32 heat that time. I guess he was just under the heat. Just under the heat cap. But that's fine. We got that heat back now on him. Yeah. The hunter's got to go back and get that sol the solitaire too, so. Mm, who's left? That's it. Just the hunter, I think. Oh no, it's the next turn. Durr. Never mind. Oscar. out. Nope, not bulleting, eh? Okay. He's moving into position to bullet somebody, though. Hey, we're getting outflanked! Mm hmm. Good to go. What do you think, Smork? Smork? Do you think he can, uh. core this guy? 55%, not bad. One or two chance. Him everything up. There yeah. you go. Oh, it's a leg shot. Maybe he'll bail out. Solid connection. The animation of the Goth Rifle is fantastic, too, though. I love how it just, like, looks like it's just, like, penning right through the guy. Alright, he's bleeding out, too. Beautiful. I hear ya. Um, can you move forward? We do have a guy up there, so... Let's just keep going. This guy's not too much of a threat, so... Uh -huh. We'll just push forward. Here we go! Okay, uh, yes, you. Um... That's a pretty good chance for the OP. Pretty good leg armor, though. If we don't move, I don't think he's going to shoot next turn because he's so hot. So let's not move. Let's just go after this leg. Affirmative. Okay, he's unstable. Orders. He's very unstable. Yeah, I mean. Copy that. You don't need to come back. Let's just stay with the vehicles. Stay up here so at least the vehicles can keep moving forward. Firing a full salvo. Nice. Nothing in the right torso, but that's fine. Scored a critical or the hit. right arm, I mean. What can I do for you? Yeah, let's get up here. Full speed sounds good. Mm-hmm. Alright, what do you got? far as weapons go, the machine gun, so I don't mind shooting you. If you miss, you miss. Special delivery. Waiting for orders. I just don't want to take too much damage from these guys, you know? Coordinates received. Don't mind if I take a little bit here or there, but... Oh, so he lost his torso. But I guess because it's not he nice doesn't have ER, la ER lasers, he doesn't have an XL core. Or, I mean, that could be the I don't think that's a clan version. At least I'm pretty sure it's not. Yeah, I don't know. I can't tell. I don't think so. I think the Thorn End's just a regular version, isn't it? Orders. Alright, you know what your job is. We want to shoot from this side. Let's get back here. Flame this guy! 
He's unstable. Good chance to hit with the flamer. I could hit him with machine guns too, but I don't want to blow that arm off. Copy that. Okay, landed. Nice. 11 heat. Now he should not be able to drop that below the red line if he moves. So we'll see what he does. Hopefully three flamers next turn will be enough to convince him to bail out. He's got good movement though. No retreat. Yeah, he's just sitting still. Club, no. Um, hardcore, you know the score. But we want to do this first though. We're back Copy. here. Man, it was so nice to start off with a pilot with field command. Here we go. Got one. Okay, he's over. Commander. At least we're stopping him from shooting. Let's see if we can get the kill on this guy. Good percentages. We're going to fire it all. All weapons. Go. All right. Ooh, lost evasive. Awaiting orders. Now the question is... Copy that. I think we do it again. Let's just try it. Giving him everything I've got. Ah, there goes the arm. It goes to the whole side. Hot yeah. damn, let's do this! Leg, torso, arm. Oh, he bailed too. Okay, good. Which means it was a clan. I mean, it's a clan max, so it might be an XL core in there. I got Okay, both legs destroyed. Hostile eliminated. Maybe things are looking up. Good to go. Um. Affirmative. Let's just get up here. Just gonna move and brace. We gotta get our other guys up here before we go out, so. That way if this guy decides to move forward Waiting and try and for kick orders. us or something, at least we're braced, you know? Commander? I don't know what he's gonna do. Waiting on you, Commander. It's Jade Falcon, you know they can do just about anything. These guys are crazy. Especially those Jade Falcon Freeborns. Man, it'd be nice to get a Grinner again. That thing was actually really good. If you haven't seen my Jade Falcon Freeborn series, shameless plug, go back and check it out. It was actually pretty good, the old Rogue Tech series. That one, I, one of my favorites, I gotta say. It's actually quite good. It was really fun to play, that's for sure. Confirmed. Now that's got to be like, like almost a year old now, or more. All right, let's see if we can get this guy. I'm here. All right, TB. Okay. Yeah, I'm enjoying the speed increase on this guy. Definitely gonna make like going, um, not with this pilot, but the other. With the thorn pilot going phantom mech, good idea. Um, yeah, screw him. Okay. Should be enough. Nope, apparently not. Order. This should be enough. I know I'm moving away from the vehicles, but it's fine. We gotta wait for the uh, wavering to catch up anyway. Uh, okay. Wow, really? Really? <sighs> Good to go. Got it. Not gonna move these guys, we're just gonna sit here for a second. See if we can finish this guy off. We gotta get everybody else up here, so. That would be a miss. Oh, painful, painful. One MG, here it comes. Whole lot of nothing. May have shot our own guy, though. Orders. Uh, how far? You can get over here, right? Okay. 
Roger. I feel a little safer shooting from this position. 29%. Let's go for it. Man, I'm talking smack about this Goss rifle. And it's like, as soon as I talk about getting a viable build where, oh, we could just get rid of the Goss rifle and blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, look, look, look how many times I hit. Look, look, I can give you low percentage hits if you want. I mean, they're not in clutch moments at all, but I can give you those hits. Uh, let's go um, this way. Roger that. Drop that heat. Who's left? Waiting for orders. Um, and you can just brace for a second. Got it. All right, I'm gonna move forward, get everybody set up, and then we'll come back. All right, here we go. So we're just about ready to get these guys out. We, it was only really one turn. Uh, now, generally, the enemy appears over here. Uh, we'll drop down up at this point over here. So we're gonna. I got the wavering up on the hill here. Uh, if we can actually see where it is, there it is. Uh, so we're gonna keep moving along this way. Although I think I should probably come down this ramp or do I want to go to this ramp let's just go to here so we're at least facing the enemy I want to get the Goss rifle up on this side Affirmative. our two fast mechs I want to get up here this terrain is tricky with these with these uh, ledges here right so you gotta be careful when you're moving them up I'm gonna put Maybe both of these guys together up here ready to strike we're gonna put the hunter up as high as we can get and on then we're going to move the vehicles out, facing that way, on and hope way. that this mission still stays the same. Yep, they landed over there. Good work, Commander. Hold this position until the package is underway. We shall. Hey. What the... Farg, why don't I have... Oh, uh, please stop. I'm gonna move the brace here. Received. I know it doesn't really matter, but oh, fuck! Really? Oh, god damn it! Ugh. Moving out. All right, there we go. Hold here for one turn. These guys are gone, and we can murder what's left. Murder bot. All right. Um. So we've got Scorpion SRM, Howler. And a sandwich. There should be five. Um, no. I'm probably just not seeing any. Ooh, field command came up at a good time. Just not seeing the last two. Can we get in the trees? We can. Let's get up here. Up for what it, worth. it might just be the three. Oh, we got a guy up here though. Miss links. All right. Maybe it's the. F I don't know. Maybe it's the four of them. Copy that. Firing Alpha Yeah, I wasn't expecting much there. So the Howler, wasn't this guy like the, uh, oh, it's an LRM build, LRM-5s. Standing by. Interesting. That actually might be kind of nice for, um, let's get you into here. That might be, might be kind of nice to replace the, uh, one of the SRM, or the SRM on the, um, you can get him. I'm on your tail. Replace the SRM-6 on the Wavern because it's a little slower with an LRM-5 no maybe and go with an LRM-20 in total. It's a possibility. Yes, Just so that we can fire it all the time, you know? Not going to get to a tree area and still be able to fire except for right there and I might shoot my own guy in the back. So we're going to move there but we're not going to shoot. I'm able to angle so that's reason why I went there. Angle our body a little bit here. Yeah, we're just liable to shoot a guy in the back, so let's not bother. Yes, Commander. And let's bring you... keep going along this way. Confirmed. Now, um... 1915, 22-17, 12-8. Yeah, so let's go against the vehicle here. A pair of SRM6s. Give me bad news if they get behind you. Get a little bit of damage in on that guy while we can. Waiting for orders. Alright, brace. 
What can I do for you? And you can go out. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Man, his machine gun still yes, haven't Commander. unjammed yet. Can I get up higher? I can. Get up as high as we can. On the move. Negate that uh, their height advantage bonus if we can. I think we're probably just going to shoot this guy. All right, 15, we'll take it. We I shall it. take it. Resting my neck. All right, here we go. These guys are pretty slow. At least the mislinks has got a way down here. There might be another mech that I'm, I'm missing. That guy, the howler, totally kind of reminded me of a cougar there for a second. Armor's holding. I thought we had faced one of those guys already. Damage mm. minimal. Scorpion SRM with, with Infernos. That'd be a nice get. I mean, I'm not going to pick to this salvage. Oof. That guy's dangerous. Waiting for the LRMs to land. Minor damage, Commander. Nope. No LRMs? Okay. Wait, is that a sandwich? That's the sandwich. I know it's Shamash, but I'm not gonna. It's a sandwich to me. The objective is secured, Commander. Because we're gonna eat him for lunch. Although I think those things got pretty good armor. For like a really light scout car, it's got pretty good armor, I think. If I'm not mistaken. No, 304. Hey. So I am mistaken. What if we should just go up and get this guy? He's in a great sniper position. Okay. Let's not give it to him untested. Or uncontested, that is. Get some good evasion. That's actually pretty good chances to hit. Compared to what it was showing me. Alright, now you're standing in fire. That'll help. Structure exposed. Waiting for orders. Five on the sandwich, even better on the uh, hunter or the scorpion. I mean, let's try and kill that scorpion. There we go. Shoot from the side, hit the front. Front destroyed. And that's the way we do it. Every time, not every time. Fair enough times that it's noticeable. Ah, shit, that's not it. Can't that miss links, man? Fucking, he's in a really good position. Let's just go here for now. At least this way, it's going to be hard for him to get around to get a shot at us, and then we'll sprint up once that locust is off the uh, catwalk there. All right, at least he's getting some heat on him. Miss links, yep. Mech is on fire. You keep firing that big one, baby. I'm good with that. Keep it toasty. Ready for orders. That's what we say in the uh, inner sphere. Keep it toasty. Well, we don't really say it, but that's what I'm saying. All right, shoot this guy. Uh, yes, please. Standing by. You are not going to make it to the bat. Oh shit, that's got our guy right in the middle of the way. Get down here. We get a better, better line. line on him. Let's get a better shot. Pulse laser is pretty accurate, and the uh, our guy's got some pretty good back armor, so we'll take a shot here. Okay, one hit, one missile hit. I think something like that. Ah, yeah, well, 20 damage, whatever. We'll take the 20. All right, sandwich is going. Where are you off to, Bubba? I know what I would do. I would zip up behind the locust and shoot it in the back. Oh, you're running. Oh, I thought there was going to be the sandwich this time. It's not. Damage is minor, Commander. I guess it's got to be a chicken sandwich because uh, I know it's the Falcon. That's that's the actual. Uh, <laughs> 
their actual standard, but we could just say it's a chicken sandwich. Okay, chicken sandwich, where are you going? Yeah, I wouldn't have done that. Best chance to pull a mech is that locust. Go up and backstab him, force him up the ramp. Let the mislinks finish him off with a backstab. But that's not happening today now. Come on, buddy, where are you going? Oh, you're going to go visit the Wayburn, are you? That's not a very good move. It's not a very good move. That's alright, though. I'm here. Alright, Tugboat. Let's, um... Ooh, we can't get up there. Well, that's, um... Weird, because it sure looks like you can. That's a pretty obvious ramp, I would have thought for sure. Um... Shit burgers. And if I just move here, he's gonna hammer me. How hot is he? He's on the edge, though. We take this arm. Garbage chance to hit, though. Oh, man, if we go here, he's probably not gonna be able to get a line on me from up there, because he's right on the edge right now, right? So if we go like this... He's not going to get a line on me. So let's go after this howler. Okay. And then we'll try and get up here, I think. Probably... Eh, I'm hoping I'm pretty well hidden here. We'll see. And he seems pretty fixated on the hunter, so... Receiving you. Um... Hmm. Let's give that missling somebody else to shoot for. We'll turn our non-Goss arm more towards him. Let's see if we can core this guy. Well, torso's gone. And there goes all our LR. Ah, crap. Whatever. Reporting critical hit. Not enough to kill, though. Yes, Commander. Well, at least he can't do anything. So what... Was that the left torso? I thought it said left torso. Let's get in there for a melee attack. Maybe we can knock his ass down. Alright, good punch attack. Shoulder destroyed. There goes the arm. All the double heat sinks. And he's dead. Well, hopefully there's an XL engine sitting there waiting for me. Yo, uh... Chicken sandwich. What's up, Bubba? Got something for you. Here. Hold this. Oof, you dodged a bullet there, buddy. That could have been bad for you. Yes, to the fire. Okay, took the bait. Not firing the large because he's overheating. He's still pretty warm though. Receiving you. The hunter to the trees, just in case that guy does shoot at him next turn. I'll take a shot at this guy. I don't want to. I don't want to shoot the um, mislinks because there's some good salvage on there, and I want to blow stuff up. Don't want to blow stuff up if I can avoid it. If we can get the flamer up there, great. If not, then I don't know what. That's going to be a tricky kill, I think. I mean, at least we can come back around here, because he's kind of more exposed and closer. I mean, not that much leg armor. His arm is almost gone, though. It's going to be interesting to see if any of those um, large heavy lasers, or the one large heavy laser, is actually in the uh, salvage. I don't know where I would put it. I mean, all these guys are pretty over... Well, you know what? I could find a way to get it into the um, Sentinel. It's running pretty cool. Dropped a large heavy in. I couldn't leave the Gauss. I, I might be able to leave the Gauss rifle in there. If we put the heavy Pharaoh in it, 
Maybe we leave the Goss rifle in there, the heavy pharaoh. What? No. With the large heavy laser. Not the best, but we're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. Because he'll probably move before he does anything. Okay, that's pretty good with the, uh, the flamer. Got one of the flamers on, I think. Nah. What's up, boss? That turns the Gauss rifle to him. Who? Heading out. Engaging with target. Yeah. I shouldn't be fucking around with this guy. Order. I know I say that every time, and then I end up paying for it when I do. Nah. I mean, we probably already got good salvage, but we're gonna get six things, right? So it's like Give them everything I've got. soften them up a bit here, trying to convince them to bail. My armor is getting blown up. Ah, for fuck's sakes, really? We're losing that arm. Commander. Shoot him. Knowledge. Get him looking at you. Get out in the open. Don't shoot the locust. Shoot me. On. Commander. Wait, where'd that sandwich go? Oh, he's over here. Ah, Christ. I better follow him, because if I don't... You know damn well he's going to go halfway across the map. Affirmative. I don't feel like dragging this out for any longer than it has to be. You know damn well he's going to go Let's halfway across the map. Fit. Come on. There we go. Good. Smoked one. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, you back the fuck up. Right through the fire. Beautiful. Ooh, he's trying to drop heat. Standing by. Um I have to reserve you. Cause you got something you want done? I do, but I don't know if you can do it because this guy's like hiding. Let's get over here. Give him somebody to shoot for. If he comes out with that large one, might might pull our arm. See what he does. He's coming back for the locust, probably, but I can't get out of there because this guy's in my way. Ooh, where are you going? Commander. All right, let's go after him. That just gives us a better chance to pull him down without losing him. That gives us some speed. Yes, Commander. Uh, I could shoot my LRMs, but I'm not gonna. Copy that. Let's move quickly here. Right here. Forgot to do this last turn, but that's fine. I think it's probably good because he didn't do anything, so... Go fast. Wouldn't help Got us it. that much. Alright. Sorry, I'm just speeding through this last little bit here. Ready for orders. Because this guy's not doing anything, but... We sure as hell are gonna... Roger that. Get Both your feet. flamer up here. Yes, Commander. I don't know. I have no idea what he goes on. It's not going to protect my backside. That's not going to protect my backside. <sighs> what turn does he go on? That might protect my backside. We're going to go there. 14. All right. Not too bad. Now we want to fuck around with this guy. Or we want to just let's just shoot him with everything. I can't afford to lose stuff at this point, you know. Okay, you don't have the speed to get. Oh, you do. You do have the speed to get a shot at him. Let's hide that Gauss rifle. We're just gonna fire the two lasers because we got our guy in danger, close proximity here. 
And even though we probably can't see him from here, doesn't mean we can't hit him. Alright, they both hit. Upper leg destroyed. Scored a critical hit. Panicking? Yes, Commander. Alright. Can't go there. Let's get in the trees. I'm hoping, hoping the hunter has enough room to shoot him. Let's hope we hit with something. Nope. Nice laser show, though. Failed to connect. Waiting for orders. All right. Machine guns and flamer will leave the LRM up. Well, not much damage on that side. Let's leave it on. We might hit him with one. I copy. We hit him with one. Nice. Plus ten heat too. He's standing on fire. That'll help a little bit. And we got one LRM left to shoot at him, depending on where he moves. Nice. Yes. You suck, buddy. Wait. Now that I said that, he's probably gonna murder somebody. Shouldn't have said that. Commander. I should not have said that. Get up here. Here we go. We'll lob an LRM on him. See if we can get something. Might hit with one. Last Taking round. One hit. Keep the pressure up on him. Out of LRM. It's all right. We don't need him. All right, tugboat. Right here. I want that leg. Don't know if we can get it, but right. let's see if we can. So, how much you got left in this leg? Almost nothing. So we're gonna do an offensive push. Go after this leg. Hopefully, one of these guys hits. Yep, we got it. Got just just the leg. Okay, let's hope that this prompts him to want to bail out. Nope. Okay. Ready to get it on. Close. Let's see if we can get that other leg now. Oh man, imagine if we get both legs. I mean, I don't, I don't foresee us doing that, but I can't use the gas rifle to just blow this guy apart. Locking on target. All right, we got the one laser hit, but I don't think that hit the leg. Light damage, commander. Oh, sorry, I take it back. Both lasers hit. Manda. Just not the one I want. Just not where I wanted them to hit. Oh, for fuck's sake. I get it, I do. Alright, let's just fire at this guy's leg. There we go, beautiful. That worked out better than I thought. Smoked one. There it is, folks. Mission successful. All right, there we go. 119,000, it's not a lot. I'm sure that's probably going to be close to what our repairs... Well, maybe not. Our repairs aren't that going to be that bad, I don't think. Sentinel, though, doing some good work today, I got to say. That gas rifle might just stay on. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. All right, so a lot of mech parts. Now, the Miss Lynx is only two. Howler is only two. And it's only 20 tons, so... Yeah, we don't... Solar... Sorry, the Solitaire, Thorn N is the one that we already have. So Clan ER Large, Clan Micros, Large Heavy Clan Laser. I don't think I can say no to that. Three Micro Pulse Lasers. Medium Heavy Laser. The heat's going to be so like we so restrictive. It's like it, the only mech it can go on is the Sentinel. Because the Sentinel's Gauss Rifle has got like, what, one heat? And then if we replace both lasers on the one arm with this and then find another two and a half tons we can take off or put the heavy pharaoh on or something like that it might totally be worth it now, i want to look to see if they have xls down here like clan xls and we do when we're taking them both the 250 core that might be nice for the wavern hmm that's a thought let me just put a pin in that Five regular double heat sinks. We're down to nine, so we're still okay. Five clan double heat sinks, which I think I'm going to grab because now I can put a clan double heat sink kit. We've already got two of these. 
So we can put one of these into the Wavern. So that's going to work out. And a lot of this stuff is just hope I get it. But now, um, as far as stuff goes, I mean, I should grab this for C bills. We're three months away from bankruptcy. Like, we're gonna need we're gonna need money. We're gonna need more missions like this. More money. So we got some of that already still. Clan cockpit for the gunnery. Um, reduces ble bleeding out speed by forty percent. Pretty nice. I think the SLDF one does that too, doesn't it? Uh, is there not SLTF? There's sensors. No cockpits. Yeah, this is 20% bleed slow. Oh, the SLDF cockpit's right here. Yeah, it's 40%. So we've already got those in our max. So I'm not worried about it. So, clan active probe might be a possibility, but, I mean, it's only one ton, right? So... But the medium heavy laser is very attractive. The clan ER large is very attractive. Four tons for 55 damage. A lot of heat though. Uh, you know what? I'm going to grab the medium heavy because we can put that onto the thorn to up the damage on it. Because we've got the heat sinking for it. We might as well put that on it. Right? And then, what if we do, I'll use mask. So this was the ER large laser version, which is the one that we have. And this one is the single Zeus launcher and the two medium lasers. So, single missile launcher and two lasers hmm yeah I think I gotta be staying away from 20 ton max I really do this is pretty nice for 25 tons but there's only one part Mistlinks had a lot of stuff on it. So, I mean, that's an option too. I think it's got to be components, and honestly, I think we need to look for sea bills. I know it's a few months away, but we still got to think towards where we're going to be. Or maybe we take a core. Maybe we grab the 250 core. I think so. I mean, the 280 is bigger and better, but right now there's no mech that it can go into. It's like, what, 19 tons? This is what? 15 and a half. Still, this is still going to be really heavy, but at least the Wavering will get some speed. And maybe we trade off the SRM-6 or something. I don't know. It's something we'll have to play with. I mean, we had the large pulse. Maybe that gets dropped for the large heavy. I don't know. I'll have to mess around. But I think this is probably the best way to go. I know it's immediate. It's like immediate upgrades for stuff, right? So I think that's probably the best way to go. Alright, we've got both Howler parts. Miss Link's part. Two Scorpion parts. Two Sandwich parts. Solitaire part. Thorn. We can put together a Thorn now. It's not bad. Um, those are the lasers we chose. The Micro Pulse lasers. How much do these things weigh? Half a ton? Yeah, Four heat though. It's not too bad, I guess. SRM-6, which isn't too bad. SLDF cockpit, which we don't need. because it's... Actually, I think the Wavern could probably use it, but I think the rest of them already have them. Endo Steel, 280 core. Um, fire control system standard, beautiful. Clan Pharaoh, nice. Regular heat sinks, this can go, I think. We're pretty much done with the regular heat sinks. So those can go. Jump jets can go, because we've got lots of them. Omnipod hand will hang on to. SLDF sensors we already have. I know we can get rid of that for 100,000. That's not bad. All right, so we've got a lot of stuff that we can use. That's excellent. All right. Well, 10,000. That's not bad. 10 grand for all that stuff we got. Yeah, I'll, I'll trade that. So that was a really good mission, like, for um, the stuff that we got out of it. I mean, the competition wasn't that difficult. 
Uh, if they had landed a few shots, like the early large laser shots would have been really bad. Uh, if they had hit with that uh, large heavy laser, that would have been bad. They could have just toasted one of our maximum one shot. But we got really lucky, which was really great. Um, I'm probably going to get things organized uh, in the mech bay. I want to get the Spectre back. So I'm going to bring that back up to the top. So we have the second mech for the dueling. i got a few items we can drop in it and get things started with that. Um... So I'll probably do that. I'm going to bring the Wavering up to the top, get that fixed first. Sentinel can go last, then Locust. And I think we can even look at... Um, before we go, let's have a quick look. Because I think we've got enough to put a Thorn together. Uh, we do have enough to put an Urban Mech together. We can put the Arrow 4 Urby together. But I want to hold off, because like the amount of recovery is pretty low on this guy, so... I want to keep that in mind now that we have enough to put a mislinks together too. Do we want to go with the mislinks? It's an Omni mech. I mean, why wouldn't we? It's just deciding what we want to go with. Probably the P. This one's got an ultra auto cannon too, ER medium and ER small. This is the one with all the micros and stuff, right? Like all those laser hard points. Or all those hard... Well, it's got... It says it's only four laser and four missile, but... It, see, three micro pulse lasers and four ER micro lasers. ER large laser, that's eight laser slots. This says it's only got four omni slots. Well, may, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it is actually more. 175 core. Um, yeah, now the question is, is this a full Omni? I think I would rather go with the laser version than the ultra auto cannon version. This could replace our thorn easily. Let's go ahead and bring this forward. Um, yeah, I see me hovering over this button and I was just like, I, I bet you everyone's like just freaking out. No, don't hit the button. Don't hit it. Uh, let's go with this one. This is the one with the... That's the Zeus launcher. This one is the large laser version with the mask and everything. So we're going to bring this guy forward first. Ready the Thorn. Who is going to cost way... more. But we might get better gear, so I'm willing to risk the 80,000. Let's confirm that. Is ready to fight, Commander. Cool. And then um, let's bring the Mislinks P forward. It's an Omni, so it doesn't cost anything. Beautiful. That mech you wanted is back online. All right, let's have a quick look at this. Um, I wasn't expecting to... I didn't think we had Mislinks parts, but that's um, that's really good for us. So, uh, the Thorn... It uh, doesn't look like there's much left here. Yeah, it's probably toast. Yeah, pretty much toast. Damaged 120 core. So, I mean, sure, we can fix that. Easy to maintain. Yeah. I can see that. Um, easy to destroy, too. Uh, so let's just scrap that guy. And that part will go into our... The core will go into our... Uh, our storage. So this guy... Not much left in this guy. Oh, his, both his arms are there, so let's just see. I mean, it'll make it a little easier to repair. Okay, we did actually really well on this guy. Although, is it a true Omni? It is. Holy shit, we got really lucky on this guy. Yeah, man, we got... Oh, so... Five hard points on each arm, or five laser points on each arm. This is actually <laughs> like a really good mech here. Let's max out the armor. It's going to cost a lot, but I think we can sell one of our Clan XLs and make like 500 grand if we have to. Uh, we need to add a we need to add a heat sink. They want to make this guy jump. Well, now we're going with running. Like if we pull out the jump jets, we get a little extra tonnage. We need to add. See, so these guys are worth 
four and a half million. So it's about yeah, it's about. I can't remember how much it is. One of you. So I'm thinking about this here. Clan double heat sink. Um, what are we looking at for heat sinking now? Uh, that's incorrect. It should be 60 heat. 49 alpha strike. Um, wait, did we, did we pick up the hand or was it the lower arm that we picked up? We do have a hand. So let's drop that in there as well. Um, clan standard stuff. Active probe is actually built right in, which is amazing. So that's great. Uh, what are we looking at for speed here? 710 is not too bad. Uh, weapons. So I mean, the more ERs we add, like this, our heat's just going to get jacked. What are we at right now? It's actually pretty good for heat sinking. Do I want to keep the ER large, or do we want to just go with a whole bunch of smaller, lower heat, more lower heat yield weapons? Like we can go with the medium heavy. I mean, that's pretty good heat yield. But this is like 56, right? 45. So let's just try something here for a second. Pull all these guys off. Let's say we go with the medium heavy is the main. Uh, I did max out the armor, right? Yeah, we still got a fair bit here. So that's the armor maxed. I could probably drop, yeah, one point off the back CT. Then we can go with... Wow, I got so much weight on this thing. I mean, we could go jump jets. So this is 26. I got to worry about heat too, right? So 26. ER smalls. So I mean, we're not going to be making a backstabber here, but definitely going to be making a... Um, maybe we put them on this side. Because then we can shield with the other side. Right, we'll shield with this side. And have primary weapons on this side. So we can go with like... Lower heat items that were already like getting murdered here. Um, doesn't have to be lasers though. Got a clan LRM5. Ooh, yeah, we got these too. That's still eight tons though, if we use two of them. And I hate using one and then putting in like the double ton of... Yeah, it's just not a... Hmm. So let's say for the sake of argument, we go with this way, and then... How many heat sinks we got left? A few. This side. Actually, let's drag these guys down here. Put one in the CT, one on each torso. Now, it should be six more than what it's registering. Oh, wait, that's not even close to what it should be. That should be 72 heat sinking. It's probably not registering it because I think one of the uh, heat sinks was damaged, so it wasn't working. And then we repaired it, but it doesn't see it as being repaired. So that should be Alpha Strike 74, heat sinking 72. I think we go that route. I mean, that's a pretty like pretty good uh, damage output. Oh, uh, man, it's not even telling me. 180. I don't think it's 180. Could be, though. 40. Yeah, that's 100 on that side. And then 25, 50. Yeah, it is 180. It's a 180 alpha strike. I mean, it's going to be hot in the desert, but I mean, if we can get an exchanger, that'll be awesome. And if we even go with... Um, 
We could get another heat sink and another weapon in there if we wanted to. Do we? What if we just go with regular Pharaoh? We don't. I'm not gonna use the Clan Pharaoh because the Clan Pharaoh gives you um, um, case, and this thing doesn't need case. So, I, mean, I don't want to drop armor. These are half tons. We have anything that's one ton? I mean, hmm. Could add one jump jet. How much is the mask for 1.25? I mean, we could just run under ton. I could just put this point in here, right? Run under tonnage for now. Until we find something that we can use. Yeah, I guess. Or we just leave this off. I mean, I don't know. I like to have the extra heat sinking. Do I want to drop the armor? I don't know. We'd have to go with the heavy. I mean, I think we should just leave it like this for now. See how it operates, and then that's that's a price well spent. Yeah, so we'll see how this thing operates. Long and then... Um, the thorn, hard. I think we can just drop completely out of service for now. Um, I think we just drop it. The mislink is just so much better, you know? That'll save us an XL core. You know? Drop some more heat sinks back into our uh, our pool. Endo... Yeah, let's do that. Let's just drop this. Let's just drop the thorn. Actually, no, we'll leave it for now. I don't think we can actually. We can't use it before the end of the month. No, nah, maybe we can. Because these will all be back. We can pull off one more mission using that, and then the mislings will come back next month. So I think we do that. Hopefully, we can pull off one more mission. Yeah. I think we'll do that. We'll leave it in, in service. We can get these guys back, get our pilots back, check our skills, and then go for one more mission. The Hatchetman's got a duo duel to pull off. So I was kind of waiting for the Spectre to be back and be built for that, but it's going to be gone at the end of the month, so we have to take it. So the next episode of the Duelist, it'll be a, probably a duel, duel, duel again. We'll get the Wavern probably in there uh, for that match. And then depending on what happens with the Wavern, we might be able to get to update it, but I doubt it. And then we'll go and do a mission with these guys. Hopefully we don't take any damage, like significant damage. The waiver doesn't get knocked out. But if it does, we'll drop the thorn and we'll, we'll wait till the next month before we take another mission. But I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If it did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. And ne until next time, we'll see you later.